Okay, and now the last part of solving systems of equations is an application. So we're still in section 3.2, and we'll do one, one complete example. So um, it costs, it costs, um, it costs four dollars. All of these are going to follow a similar format, and you'll end up writing a system that you can solve using elimination. So it costs four dollars to to make a small to make a small pizza that sells for twelve dollars. That sells for twelve dollars, and costs six dollars to make a large pizza to make a large pizza that sells for fifteen dollars um, your restaurant spent a total of your restaurant spent a total of eleven hundred dollars in a week making pizzas making pizzas and sold all for twenty nine ten how many small pizzas were sold? How many small pizzas were sold? Okay, normally we don't have to write that. We read it in the word problem in the book, and then we write the most relevant information. So there's two things. What are you... To do the system, you have to, in every word problem, you have to, let me give you a tip here, you have to define those two variables, x and y. There, there are only two things, and usually the question will tell you what at least one of those things is. So what is the question asking for? How many small pizzas? Good, good. So look at the question. It says how many small pizzas. That's one of your variables. So you need to define them. Let x <coughs> equal the number of small pizzas. That's what you're looking for. And that's, so that's usually key to getting started on these word problems. What is it asking for? So x is the number of small pizzas. What is, what's the only other quantity in this problem for y? Let y equal, there we go, number of large pizzas. All right. So we just want to write two equations here um, and use the information in the problem. So it costs $4 to make a small pizza and $6 to make a large pizza. When you say how much your restaurant spent, $1,100, that's, that's the, what you put into making the pizzas. So it's basically just 4x plus 6y equals 1100 that's that's one equation and the other is your what you're selling for your profit you're you're selling the small ones for six dollars you're selling the large ones for fifteen dollars Twelve. oh thank you small thank you is twelve and the large is fifteen and you made twenty nine ten so those are the two equations that you're you're solving are, are there any questions on that? that? You'll always find, if you just define those two quantities you want, you'll always find a way to write two equations for everything. They'll look like this. And then let's just, um, to keep this short, what would I multiply these equations by so I can use elimination? Each other, Each other yeah. So you could use what? Actually, what's the easiest way? <coughs> Multiply the first one by negative negative three, right? Because then, then the x's will cancel. 
So all you have to do to solve this problem is multiply the top equation by negative 3 because then you'll get negative 12x and the x's will cancel. Wait, so you don't have to do anything to e e Exactly. You don't oh. have to, if, if there's something easier that works, you don't have to multiply both. You can just multiply one. So this is a good example of that. So, so you, <coughs> when you, um, all right, do you want to work, should we work this out? Or yeah. should we just, okay. So if you multiply this by negative 3, I'm going to rewrite the equation below. You get, um, you get negative 12x minus 18y equals negative 3300. And then you're just going to, the x's will go away. The y's, you'll get negative 3y. And someone do, let's see, 2910, it's going to be a negative answer. What is that going to be? 90 plus... 390. Okay, negative 390. Divide by negative 3, of course. So you get positive 130. So now this is why it's so important to write your answer in a complete sentence because <coughs> why the lot we didn't ask for the number of large pizzas, we asked for the number of small pizzas. So how do we get it? Yes, plug back in. Plug back in, which we've done plenty of to get and you will get x equals 80. So how many small pizzas were sold? You would say 80 small pizzas were sold. Um, and by writing it in a complete sentence, it makes sure that you're answering the question that was asked rather than just your own little question that you had for yourself in your head. <laughs> okay.